announcement, gang. The Through the Roof Tour is on sale right now. Mm -hmm. Grab the squad and come out and see the boys. Stand-up comedy show. You got me, Kippy, T-Bone, Tommy C. Then we play a little AYG with the crowd. It's a good, good time. Yes, our biggest tour to date. We're super excited. We hope to see everybody again. We're going to Charlotte, Nashville, Tampa, Atlanta, Providence, New Haven, Boston, New York, Rochester, Syracuse, Albany, Baltimore, Portland. I ain't done yet. Seattle, Vancouver, New Orleans, Houston, Dallas, Red Bank, New Jersey. All tickets are available at rugarbage.com. Get them, gang. We want to see you out there. More cities coming soon. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that they're good to be classy. Yeah. But they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She is over at the dentist office mm -hmm. trying to get her hands on a tank for the weekend. Okay, shout so out to look it. Look out, $5 a cup over at Tootie's. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world give it up for kj kevin james ryan everybody what up gang thanks for tuning in as always please make sure you rate view subscribe on itunes full Ooh. video available on youtube as you know those numbers are true to real cooking and obviously the greatest website of all time www.patreon.com slash are you garbage gang you go over there you get a bajillion hours worth of bonus content mm -hmm. love that money mm -hmm. and how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinary the old magic man makes us all look good works the ones the twos the threes and the fours he crosses the t's and he dots the i's give it up for T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What up, hey, pal. I'm stoked. We got a yeah. hilarious dude in here. An all-time guy. Yes, sir. Watch him absolutely rip the comedy jam down there in Austin, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> a little we got while a set back. of pipes on this one. <laughs> it's got some, <laughs> some vocals on him over there. <laughs> Doing a little Eddie Vedder. We like yeah. it. Gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special mm -hmm. guest here with us today for the first time. He is a very funny, very successful stand-up comedian and actor, and you might have seen him in, but not limited to. You got Jimmy Kimmel Live, Legit, Deadbeat. You got Mascots, Robot Chicken, Underdeveloped, Live at Gotham, Your Mom's House, Comedy Underground, The Joe Rogan Experience, uh -huh. This Is Not Happening, The Degenerates, Laugh Tracks, WTF with Mark Maron, The Adam Carolla Show. He has multiple stand-up specials out, including 2015's Fun Side, 2016 Daddy Issues, and he's got a brand new special out right now streaming on Veep entitled Starfish, and he's on tour. Give it up for the one the only Brad Williams, everybody. Hey, Let's go. Hey, Let's you guys, go. You guys talk really fast. I'm going to have to keep up. Okay. <laughs> are you garbage? My wife is going to be watching this just going like, yes, just say yes. He's garbage. I need the validation. Uh, we do a lot you? of pre-show meth before you get here. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I got to kick my stutter on the back. Burner and really <laughs> figure out how to keep up with y'all. Focus. Just hey, get yeah. a cup of coffee. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, thank you so much for coming in, man. We yeah, wanted man. to have you for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a West Coast guy. Yeah. yeah. You, you guys are on the East Coast, but I'm doing a little East Coast run, doing some shows out here, doing some doing some appearances. There you go. And uh, 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 honored to be uh, stopping by here. Uh, 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 past. Four uh, fake Burberry bag salesmen sure. on the way here. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. nice. There's you a lot guys... of counterfeit goods floating around <laughs> yeah, this neighborhood. Yeah, you, you guys like they're all pick art. up something for the wife. Tell her it's legit. I might. It's legit. I'm making money now, baby. Got a nice Burberry scarf. Don't 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 look at the label. Yeah, don't, don't look. It's got two B's just, in it. Just trust me. It's Burberry. Blueberry. Yeah, bl Burberry. It's two B's. It's fine. And uh, yeah, it, it's just, I'm a West Coast guy, like I said. So. Walking into the studio where the door is like you got you got to know a guy to find the door. Sure. Um, it doesn't look like an office door. No. It looks like the it, it looks like the portal soup of hell. dumpling place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walking through the back. Yeah, they're right upstairs. Up yeah. Yourself. Exactly. So it's I'm I'm getting the full experience. Uh, I have yet to uh, almost be hit by a car, slam the hood, and yell out I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm hoping that'll happen, but not the whole hit by a car thing. It's very dangerous. Four foot four. I don't think they'll stop. Yeah. I, 
I, I, I just think they'll assume I'm a pigeon. <laughs> and, and just We yeah. had a deal. Yeah, and just do the thump thump, and that's the end of Brad. Jesus Christ. Give us the backstory. Give us the origin story of Brad Williams. Where'd uh, you grow up? Tell us the whole deal. You're a West Coast kid, right? Yeah, West Are Coast you? kid. Uh, born and raised in uh, Orange County, California. What? Some, I didn't know that. Yeah, some people think I'm garbage just based on that alone. That's uh, rich people country, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the end of that. And, uh, that quite the flex, all right. <laughs> yeah, you know, some there, there, there are a lot of comics come up here and say like, oh, I had a troubled childhood. I had a we horrible. We were balling. I had a horrible <laughs> oh, yeah, childhood. Yeah, I like this. I, not me. Fill us in. Yeah, What's we your rarely get do? these, so this is great. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, what uh, the folks do? Uh, dad was a good, uh, a good lawyer. Really? Uh, defense lawyer. attorney. Ooh. Defense attorney. He kept, he, he kept him out of jail. Uh, who, who, what, uh, what kind of clients was he? Uh, was it like corporate or like you know? Private, Mart, private. Yeah, like. well, like he was a he he was a public defender for a while, so okay. that's just whoever comes in and sure. can't afford an actual attorney. Uh-huh. They always make that move, don't then they? They, they cash, yeah, it, they in. cash yeah. it out, and then they move to the private firm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what happens when you work mm-hmm. for like you know you work for like the s you know the fucking stock exchange as like a regulatory mm-hmm. person. You go cash it in at J P Morgan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give me my start, money. Yeah, then you start some firm with like four last names in a row. Uh huh. Then all and all those four guys are dead. Yeah. That's, so was he? A, it was what? There was uh, Williams. In it? Uh, there was no Williams, uh, oh, okay. uh, but so uh, it was not a Williams. But he did. He That's did good for very, when the feds yeah. come knocking. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> My name is worked there. <laughs> that you, yeah. When 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 they raid the place or when <laughs> just grab a broom and act like you're the janitor. <laughs> yeah. When they're when they're repping Harvey Weinstein, you don't want your last name clumped <laughs> in. <laughs> like oh, you know, famed attorney Pete Williams from the famed law firm uh, Talbot Simpson Young Solander and Williams. You're like oh, fuck. <laughs> they give you the promotion right before yeah. you get busted. I yeah. had to make partner. Fuck. Yeah, okay. exactly. So yeah, uh, gr- grew up in Orange County. Uh, 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 played played a lot of golf growing up. Uh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, golf lot, kid. A lot of golf. Hold on. Take a step back. Did yeah. your mom work? No. So mm. your dad's killing it. Dad's killing it. He's doing well. <laughs> dad's love it. doing well. Where are you playing this golf? At a country club? Private. Private yeah. course. Yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Come on. He's still got the hat. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a caddy. I look like a caddy or the guy that stands out front of your Philadelphia home holding the ring. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that always got run over at home alone. Uh-huh. Oh, that yeah, thing, that's yeah. That's got back home light. eight times. Yeah. I'm actual size. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, uh, 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 dad Dad was big on golf, so I knew that in order to hang out with dad, you got you know, you got to no play golf. Shit. So uh, played a lot of golf. How many times a week we talking? Uh, uh, dad played. Here's the thing. If, if I had a game or a thing on Saturday... He dad, wasn't there. Dad was not there. He's hitting the link. That's nice. his game. That's a good rich dad now, right there. Now, if 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 it's Sunday, all over it. Uh-huh. He's there. He's bringing a cheering section. Dad he'll, of the year. He'll 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 bring snacks. Okay. You know, but but Saturday, sorry. Got the standing tea time over at the club. <laughs> I don't know what to tell and you. And then I got to get drunk with the fellas. <laughs> I got to scramble to get there. I got to hit on a waitress and a beverage cart lady. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. Yes. <laughs> How nice of a, of a country club are we talking here? Uh, it's not where the Illuminati hangs out, <laughs> but where it's the Illuminati's accountant hangs out. Okay, that's right. pretty good. So it's pretty good. That's right. not bad. You they know. got a pool, all that shit. Yeah. All yeah, right. They got a pool. It's country not... club kid. Okay. Yeah, country Mr. club. Yeah, I let. Like I said, I'm not gonna be the vanilla ice guy where I where I come on here and be like, he was hard growing up in these mean streets. Sure, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Orange County's pretty good. The mean streets of Laguna. We were doing well. <laughs> What's uh? <laughs> Any brothers or sisters? Yes, got one sister. Uh, uh, I'm I'm the black sheep of the family as a comedian. Mm-hmm. She's 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 partner. At, a, at, at at an accounting firm. No shit. Yeah, so mm. she's doing all right. Uh, she got into Stanford, turned it down for a full academic scholarship to USC. Damn. Uh, so yeah, and then and then and then I went to USC because they felt sorry for me and they needed a diversity hire. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I, a win's a win, baby. Hey, I got in. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's in. Let's That's go. That's it. Don't it, say that on the degree, baby. Let's no. go. Oh, well, if I had a degree, <laughs> I dropped out. All right. Fair <laughs> Do enough. your parents still live in the same house that you grew up in? Uh, mom just moved out. To, uh, not to take the story a little dark, but uh, Dad passed away two years ago. Sorry so to hear that. It's okay. So when so so when Dad passed, Mom didn't want to be in the in sure. in the house. So, sure. Uh, downgraded to a to a lovely small home in seven Huntington bedroom. Beach. Seven <laughs> bedrooms. <laughs> Only something seven. small I can <laughs> manage. Only seven. In Huntington Beach. Huntington Beach. All right. Yeah. So a lot of angry white conservatives there. There you uh, go. So that's, that, that, that's our surroundings. So what we used we like to ask people what the okay. the name of the street was that they grew up on, and since no one lives there. Tell yeah. us. Yucca. 
Yucca? <laughs> Yucca Lane or what? Avenue? Yucca or? Avenue. Yucca. Kanish Boulevard? What's going on? <laughs> they're, they're Yucca trees. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah. I don't right. even know what a Yucca tree is. <laughs> that's yeah, how, that's how poor we are. Yeah. It's <laughs> not what you say when you see the street. You okay. Know, like, <laughs> what was, that, what that. was the house like? Uh, Big they, house? They call it tri-level. It's a fancy word for three-story. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, there, uh, there, there was one room as you enter the front door. You turn to your right. There's a room. It's a very lovely living room. It was always... Very well decorated. My family and I called that the Christmas room because that's the only time we'd go in there. Really, was just on Christmas. That's where the tree was. That's where the that's tree rich. was. That's where you. That's, that's where you sat. Christmas bit. room. Man. Yeah, oh, Christmas man. room. That east wing is deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. But then my dad, uh, uh, net like we 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 were doing well. Uh, but in but in the summer, first of all, we had to beg my dad to finally get air conditioning in the house. Really? What? Beg. Big. When he finally did, you could never run that thing. That no shit costs shit. money. That Jesus. shit costs money. <laughs> Damn. So, man, no AC. No AC in Orange County. In Orange County, that's crazy. No coastal breezes. So I wasn't. I. You know, we weren't the richest family. We weren't the richest the family. We did we okay, had, yeah. financially comfortable, but inside very uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> we did just fine. As my Spitzen. as my dad always describes, upper middle class. You, <laughs> you know, like so, not middle class, not rich, upper, upper middle, middle class. What was that's your car whipping? What was your dad whipping around town? What did he drive? That's Benzie? a that's a status call. As, sure. a, as a defense attorney in Orange yeah. County, you got to be whipping. I ain't trusting you with the case if you're rolling it to a Corolla. He, yeah, he had a, he had a Benz for a while. Ooh. He had a red Lexus for a Ooh. while. I love that red, red Lexus. Lexus. Man, that yeah. screams, I'll get you off if the price is right. <laughs> a red Lexus. That's got judge payoff for oh. License sure. plate, give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thankfully he wasn't those billboard lawyers. Uh, like, there's uh, a, they're crazy. I'm, they're the best now. I'm fascinated. I, I, I don't know if this is going to be a premise for me, but like every town I go to has its billboard lawyer. Sure. Oh, uh, so I'm in Los Angeles. Our billboard lawyer is Sweet James. Sweet James. That's he'll, right. he'll, and and that's that that's all the billboards you see. It's Sweet on every, James, baby. Yeah, I'll get y'all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But every town has their billboard <laughs> lawyer. My favorite one is uh, uh uh they talked about him on uh John Oliver's show. He's he's a lawyer down in Texas. He he's the Texas hammer. He's We've the, seen that guy yeah. driving wanna, around Texas. You want to be repped by the hammer. He yeah. holds a sledgehammer yes, in his commercial. Yes, yes. He's like, I'm the Texas hammer. And yeah. he talks exactly like, like you want the Texas hammer to talk. Yeah, we see him on the highway. It's always like when you're injured in a car accident. Yeah. 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 Dude, all Texas always has hit by a truck, question mark. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the hell's going on down here? Are Get you it? called a shovel? <laughs> Are you in jail? Is there a wall that goes to the outside? <laughs> Call the Texas hammer. Yeah. You accidentally shoot your buddy? <laughs> Call Texas hammer. hammer. Accidentally's in quotes. Yeah. So I'm glad he wasn't the billboard lawyer. That's All good. Right. A little bit, a little more cachet than yeah, a billboard yeah, lawyer. Exactly. All right. Uh, you got in the USC. How were the grades growing up? They're pretty good. Uh, public school, private school. Public school. Okay. So good public school. Pu public school. Drama theater nerd. Okay. Really? So okay. I was in all the. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I played some sports. Okay. What'd you get? What'd uh, you do? Hockey was my main sport. Really? Okay. I loved hockey. I was a defenseman, number 33. And uh, uh, I, I love I loved doing that. So played golf, played hockey, was, all was always involved in theater. Uh, huh. uh, Hit yeah. me with a couple productions that you were in. Oh. What? what, what what do you want? Okay, you want my favorite one? <laughs> Oklahoma, South Pacific. Wasn't in Street those. Streetcar named Desire. I was in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. I was in. <laughs> the hell was, is that? that? Sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> that was. That sounds like something one. the Texas Hammer saw. <laughs> the Texas Hammer. How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Tran translation. Is that a play? It's a. It's a full musical. Okay. So I could sit. Uh, Takes place in the break room. <laughs> I, oh, I mean, there's a song called Coffee Break, but yeah, there is. It's okay. a good one. Uh, That's my big solo. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, my big solo was uh, Company Way. Yeah. <laughs> I played it the company way. Yeah, that one. Um, we're going to get, hit for, we're like, hit for copyright. Sounds like I'm song. making it up. I'm not. I'm uh, sure you're making it up. Yeah. A little, little, little bit of that, a little bit of Anything Goes, a little bit of a little bit of Hello Dolly. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I'll sing it's a song. worker. A fucking song and dance. Man, I'll over say, here. I'll, I'll, I'll freaking do it all. I'll do all. I'll do all the songs from the from, from, from those plays and musicals. Mm. But the I grades were good. It. Grades were good. Got into USC. Uh, like I said, diversity higher. And uh, then when I when when I had one year to go, that's when I discovered stand up comedy. Okay. And uh, called the parents and was like, I'm ah, I'm not doing dropped this. Out? Dropped, dropped out. Dropped out for for open mics. Dropped. 
Oh, damn. Well, USC? Not, for, not for open mics. Okay. I, I was starting doing open mics freshman year. Okay. 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 So that's. Uh, and then got more serious. Yeah. And then so the... that's 2003. So I've been in the game 20 years. You're doing open mics in LA? Yes. Okay. Yeah. First time ever was uh, at the Laugh Factory. And now you guys are going to love this. Uh, so I'll, so I'm, I'm, I'm in line. You, you sign up for the open mic at about 1 o'clock. Not in the morning, you know, p.m. Sure. But then uh, the show isn't until 5. Yeah. Right. And, and for a guy like me driving from Orange County, you got to find parking. you got to move your car because all the signs that say you know, five minutes, you know, 30 minutes for th- between this hour mm-hmm. and this hour on this day with the fucking Mercury's in retrograde. Sure. It's, it's horrible, horrible trying to park there. Uh, but then there's a guy in line, and he, and, and he looks at me and goes, hey, man, I haven't seen you around. I go, oh, well, this is my very first time. He goes, ah. Your very first time on stage, you go, yep. He goes, well, my name is Burger, and then just don't worry. Just do whatever I do. You'll be fine. I've been doing this open mic for 15 years. Oh, I don't <laughs> want to do that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing what you do, Burger. Not, now, not to be confused with a hamburger, which hamburger. is a very famous, very successful sure, uh, uh, sta- sta- stand-up comic, but yeah, Burger. Burger. Uh, Damn. Ha- haven't heard from him since. <laughs> yeah. So he, he ain't doing that well. But yeah, start, started doing stand-up, and then in 2003, uh, uh, 2005, uh, when I had like a year left to go, I uh, had the opportunity to go out on tour and like really make some money, so I uh, told, told the parents, ah, I'll just graduate later. Was that the plan? Were you really in t- going, I'm going to go back? Or you were like, yeah, you're never, no back, one's going yeah. back. I'm it's just asking if back. he had the intention. I don't never. know. Never. What was the major? Was it a film and television major? Communications. We, we, communication. we did not lose a cancer cure by me sure. dropping out. Sure. It's not like when Dr. Ken goes, I'm not going to be a doctor anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be a full-time actor, comedian. You're like, Dr. Society's Ken. all right yeah. with you uh, yeah. pursuing we, comedy. Yeah. We lost a minor league baseball announcer. <laughs> sure. That's a good gig if you can get it. That's not bad. Yeah. And the, the Tacoma Bulldogs should really use it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could have had me. Like, the whole goal was to be a, 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 a sports broadcaster, broadcast journalist. Simply, no bullshit, because my dad said, you interviewing a basketball player would be funny. That's that's a good so, bit. That's a good bit. And, and sure enough, years later, I got to, uh, through, through a radio station out in Los Angeles called K-Rock, mm-hmm. I got to work the red carpet for one of the uh, Laker kickoff events and I got to interview Pau Gasol and Dwight Howard no who shit. are huge. Yeah, god damn. Ty, uh, basically I, I I interviewed their dicks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they had a lot to say. How are you guys doing? Yeah, that? especially Dwight's. And uh yeah, so uh, so yeah, drop dropped out of school with a year to go to do stand up comedy. Okay. And uh twenty years later I'm promoting a special on Veeps. There you oh, go. So, all right, so things are going great. Shout out to it. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about Adam and Eve. Shove something in you, baby. Yeah, gang, Valentine's Day is rapidly approaching. Ooh. And what better way to show your loved one? Is that the right term? Loved one? I don't love them. <laughs> that you love them is by sticking something up your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> or stick your wiener in something. So do yourself a favor. Get over there to Adam and Eve. Grab her a vibrator. Or grab one for yourself. I don't sure. judge. Bump plugs. Whatever you need, they got it. We love Adam and Eve. And it shows up in a nice discreet package so the nosy neighbors don't know what you're up to with the boudoir. <laughs> a little bit of hanky panky. Uh, Adam and Eve has been around for over 50 years. They've Hello. Been, they've been making you come so you don't. So you know you can trust them to give you not only a great time, but a high quality product. At the end of the day, you want to make sure what you're putting inside you're, you're putting yourself inside is, a, is high quality stuff here. Sure. Uh, whether you're into some. You're saying wooden dildos or nothing like that. Uh, and you don't have to get too super. Super crazy. If you're a beginner, they, uh, they got just something you can spice up for your Valentine's Day. Uh, and we got an awesome deal for you here for all you garbage listeners. When you go to adamandeve.com and select almost any item, you'll get 50% off, baby. There you go. Uh, so head on over to adamandeve.com. And that's not all. You get to select your one item. You'll also get free shipping, daddy There you go. Go over to adamandeve.com and make sure you use our offer code GARBAGE at the checkout again. That's code GARBAGE at adamandeve.com. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's talk about Butcher Box. Shout out to the box of Butcher, baby. OG, baby. Well, been in the game with us for a long time. Long time. Got my freezer stocked full of meat. We're not Man. talking about that crap you get at the grocery store. Uh-uh. We're talking about wild caught. We're talking about grass fed, grass finished beef. We're talking about free range chicken. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the good stuff. Do yourself a favor. Get over to the butcher box. They send you a bunch of meat. It shows up. You throw it in the freezer. Whenever you're ready to use it, you take it out. You defrost it. You got top quality meat to serve your family. 
That's why it's baby. It's fantastic. They were nice enough to send us, I don't know, about five, 1,500 pounds. Man. Came in on a pallet. I got so much ground beef. I got a lot of hamburger meat. Uh, Butcher Box will even send you guides, tips, hacks, so you can create, so you can make the most of each box. Uh, so you're eating well, and you're saving tons of time, and you'll always be prepared with awesome cuts of meat in your freezer, mm-hmm. ready to go whenever you are. Here's the turkey, baby. Hit them. With ButcherBox, you don't have to worry about what's for dinner. ButcherBox is offering all you garbage listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential. Now, here it is, baby. Three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips what? for free in every order for a whole year. Yeah, I love those steak tips, though. they all right. Plus, you get 20%, or I'm sorry, you get 20 bucks off your first order. What? Sign up today at ButcherBox.com slash AYG. Use the code AYG to choose for your free offer and get $20 dollars off baby do it yeah. back at that age so or like teenage what was yeah. the first car oh, your first car first car was, would your dad hook you up or jeff to work for it what was it, it was new don't get me wrong uh, but it was a uh, it, it, it was a toyota tacoma that's a okay the that's pickup a truck yeah good uh dad <laughs> dad put one of those caps on the, uh, the cab on on the bed yeah so it could go up but i had you know so you could lock the bed and sure. you could secure things in there uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, uh, Brett uh, was, a, was, was a new car, so I did all right. That's good. Know, pickup truck with the cab on it. That's got a bunch of fertilizer in it. I don't <laughs> yeah. like that at all. Well, that's so your friends don't ask you to move. That was literally why uh, he's yeah. like, put the put cap the on it in, yeah. so you can't put a lot a lot of stuff on it. Cap so not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, what was, lawyer uh, mentality. I like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was the first job? First job, all right. Uh, 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 okay, first job was I worked. You know, you, you know the mall store Hot Topic. Of course, you worked at Hot Topic. I worked at Hot Topic. Jesus. I walk. I, I walked in there because I I listened to a lot of rock music. They had all the <laughs> rock T-shirts. Uh huh. So the it, no, so I wasn't. I dressed pretty much how I dressed. Now, sure, like just uh, you know, baseball. Yeah, now that I'm head. looking at you, I can see you behind the counter. Yeah. Hot topic. What's like, up, dude? Thing. So, like, hot topic. It's all like you guys the, get your ears pierced. Yeah, it's all the gauges, the goths. Sure, the, you got you, you got pants that have chains on them and and dyed hair, and they just looked at a little white dwarf from Orange County and was like, "Oh, dwarf. Yeah, that's weird enough. You can <laughs> work here. I'll fit in. Yeah, you can work here. It's fine." So I, I worked at Hot Topic, and then and then right after that, I worked at Disneyland. Disneyland what? doing yeah. what? Uh, I was a bodyguard for the characters, so I walk around with Mickey, Minnie, Donald. You know, uh huh. You know, make sure they're all right. Every now and then, a five year old steps out of line. You got to be like, "What's up, bitch?" Hit him with a yeah. Hit him with a stone cold stunner. <laughs> I talked to you for a minute. <laughs> it tasing kids at Disneyland. Fuck <laughs> out. Whoa, hot that topic child, in Disneyland. That child is seven years old. Fuck <laughs> out. Man, we took a left turn from from a. Defense lawyer. Yeah, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Orange County, yeah. my ass. Yeah. Well, you know, got, 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 you know, they don't give you the corner office to start. Sure. I you got to work really your way up. up. But, they, you... but, but here's the thing. I've never really had a real job. Like, I had, you know, Hot Topic, which was fun. You get to sell gauges to depressed kids. Mm-hmm. And then working at Disneyland, that's fun. I, uh, hell, when I would go to Disneyland, living in Orange County as a dwarf, everyone just assumes I work there anyway. Might as so, well be getting paid yeah, for this. Yeah, might be getting paid for that. And that's a great, that's, right. that's a great job to have when you're in high school because you get to go to the park for free. You're hanging you know, out. You're, yeah. you know, in high school, you were doing this. Yeah, and then Ooh. well, because I started stand up at 19. Sure. So those those are my three the jobs. Jobs ever. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So it was. Uh, yeah. So it was a uh, hot topic Disneyland, and then stand up comic. Very briefly. Had a had a morning radio show in San Francisco. This is like eight years ago. What was okay. the name of it? Uh, 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 the the Kevin Klein Morning Show. I I I did not make the. You were in, you were in top billing. You were a partner at the. I didn't at the make show. the header. So my dad, my sister, sure. me. Our, we, that's our <laughs> that's our claim to fame. Flying under the radar. We I get like we get in the door, but we're not on the door. <laughs> what were the uh, the vacations like growing up? Where would you guys oh, go? Anywhere they, good? Hawaii. Yeah. I think a lot. Didn't go to Hawaii till I was an adult. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but so that's uh, what all rich LA yeah, people. But do. we went to we went to some good places. Your Lake Tahoe's, your Sun Valley, Idaho's. Okay. Your, but then we started going on vacations to wherever the the. All right, I gotta tell a story to tell a story here. Mm-hmm. So uh, every summer when I was a kid, I'd go to the uh, the National Dwarf Convention. 
And that okay. sounds like I'm lying. As, as a, a kid. Yeah, as All a right. kid. So you go there. And I a, bet you cleaned up, dude. As a teenager, yes. Uh, as a teenager <laughs> and as a young adult. They worked at Hot Topic. I what did. I did all right. I can get. I can give you a discount on a on a Motorhead shirt. Yeah, I did sure. all right. And in, in terms of the world of little people, I'm pretty fucking good looking. Okay, <laughs> this is this is pretty handsome right here. This is pretty suave. It's all right. Even before the beard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So every, every summer I go to these little people conventions, which is over a thousand dwarves go, mm-hmm. get going into one hotel in a random city across our, our the great land of ours, and uh, and so our family trip every year would be to that city so if it was in san antonio That's nice well then the williamses are going to san antonio mm-hmm. and we're gonna go have a good time and see whatever there is to see in that city how it's long great. was the convention uh for for a week for a week yeah yeah so we go for about a week and they try to design these conventions like all right it's for togetherness and you get to talk to people and you know you, you, there's a clothing exchange there's doctors there's sporting events which by the way are funny as fuck <laughs> uh dwarf sporting events you know you you, you have eight dwarves running track <laughs> Hilarious. That's, yeah. Hilarious. Did you do any of the events? All of them. <laughs> I was cleaning it, up. How do you think I got all that? Poop? I was athletic. I was it, like, oh my God, now I go play basketball and they're like, Williams, you're center. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah, one yeah. knows how to rebound, by the way. <laughs> you're the their ball boxer comes and everybody out. Else. We're, 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 we just hold our hands out like this to catch a rebound. Call him the skyscraper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come shit. I heard Williams is coming this year. We don't stand a I chance. Was, I was clanging and banging down <laughs> the halls. You know, I, was, uh, I was backing guys in. Uh, but yeah, so it's they try to dress it up with all these events, but really, the whole convention's for banging. It's for no going shit. there and seeing a, seeing a potential partner and be like, holy, like the, the whole year you're friend zoned, mm-hmm. and then you go to the dwarf convention and you're hot. Damn. So uh, yeah, people would have quite a week. It's gotta be fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. LPA. Yeah, LPA, Little People of America. There you go. He's got, yeah, you got a dwarf brother. Yep. So he <laughs> he and I speak the lingo. Did you just snipe that or did you guys talk about that? No. No, no. Oh, no, no. We talked about it before the oh, show. Oh, I was oh, like, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Oh, no. I was like, he just looked at you and went, dwarf brother? Oh, no, that's one of the things they can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, damn. Psychic link. Yeah. What you the know, fuck? You, you, you didn't know that shit? No, there's, so. I lose it. Just, Is that you, true? You just <laughs> scared the shit out of me. So, so, like, yeah, my brother texted me this morning. You having Brad on? <laughs> yeah. He knew. Yeah. He got the newsletter. <laughs> okay. All right. It's fine. Damn. It's so it's so strange because uh, right, uh we should have so... told Kibby he could read mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would have flipped a table, dude. So I would have been out. I was so shocked. So you got a crush on your landlord, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot you were in the room when we yeah, talked about Jesus it. Jesus Christ. So it's funny because uh my opening act is a great comic. He, uh he's got his own special on YouTube. Uh his name is JB Ball. He's a black guy, and we have noticed that when we're walking around, like he could see any black guy, and and and, and there's a hey, what's up, man? Mm-hmm. How's it going? Like there's no understanding. Same thing with dwarves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're out and about. I see another dwarf in the wild. I'm like, what's up, man? What's you got a struggle? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, when two jeeps drive by yeah, each other. Yeah, you gotta other. throw the yeah, throw this, yeah, the whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, hmm. yeah. You don't. Yeah, but for dwarves, it's the uh, microwave. <laughs> it's... <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll give you that. I love a good pun. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Why not? Uh, okay. Huh. Pretty clean so far. What was the I super? So. What was the supermarket you guys went to growing up? Uh, pavilions. Pavilions. Uh, yeah. Is that a? Where do you think that would rank? Was yeah, it clean? Me... Like if you're, was it? Is, is it, it like Erewhon or whatever? No, oh no, Erewhon's it's not, crazy. It's not Erewhon. We weren't Whole selling Foods? like it, it, it. It's a step above Ralph's. Okay. Bars, a step below. Whole Foods. All right. I, I, I think meaty part of the curve. Yeah, I okay. think that's where it is. So like, you... if, if you're on the West Coast, it's on the same level as like a Sprouts. Okay. Uh, so it's like it's okay. Doing it's all, all right. right. It's all right. Would you pack your lunch or would you buy lunch at school? Oh, mom woke up in the morning and packed the lunch every day. What are we? Talking? What are we talking? Oh, uh, yeah. horrible food. <laughs> really? <laughs> mom, mom couldn't cook. It. No shit. Uh, it shit. Was, it was, she didn't work. That's all she was doing. What the hell was going on? When I when I tell people like my diet as a kid. Okay, like Lay so, it on us. All right. Have you guys ever had something called all right, so Philly, so maybe. Chip chip beef on toast. Yeah. Shit on a shingle. Yeah. Shit on a shingle. Yeah. No shit. What am that, I a jerk off? Yeah. That's what we ate because mom didn't no cook. Shit. She didn't want to learn that you know we, She made chip beef on toast. Yeah. Oh, I love her. You ever had grits? 
Yeah, what? Yeah, of course. Love grits. No kidding. Love Damn. me some grits. Man. Put some butter and some bacon. You're eating girl in Mississippi? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. So, funny story about my mom. <laughs> Shit on a shingle yeah. and grits Eating and orange squirrel cow. meat in yeah. LA. Yeah. Mom, That's nuts. Mom uh, was that born was and raised. That was her breakfast. Yeah. Bo- mom was born and raised in uh, Savannah, Georgia. There. All right. All right. Moved right. out to LA or a, a, a town called Arcadia when she was uh, in high school. High school, she came there as they were studying the, and as the story goes, they were studying the Civil War. It's her first day of school, and they go, well, uh, we're studying the Civil War. Susan, you're new to the class. Can you you, you tell us who won the Civil War? My mom just goes, the South. Jeez. Yeah, that's what I'm coming from. <laughs> Yikes. I probably had some family members there on January 6th. Sure. Sure. <laughs> War's still going on, sir. <laughs> still going on. It's it called, ain't over till it's over. It's called the culture war. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad Nick Saban's out because he's from the north. He's a damn Yankee. We don't by the way, I was also in that musical. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Nick Saban's got a musical? <laughs> the Nick Saban story? You haven't seen Roll Tide? <laughs> I would, right, that's not bad. There you I go. Would, I give me give it. me fifty pages. I would Go see it in a yeah, second. Be, all right. right. Oh, that 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 Miami Dolphins second act would be killer. <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh my uh, god. How old were you when you got your passport? Uh oh, that's funny. Uh, uh thirteen. Uh, because I had good. to go on a theater tour of uh England and Scotland. That's so, fun. Yeah, I got to go over there. I was in a theater troupe. Fullerton Children's Repertory Theater. Not bad. And, pretty uh, classy. Pretty classy, man. Went over there and uh, did some shows for the locals. Uh, stayed uh, which, by, which, by the way, you ever, like, look back on shit when you were, like, when, when, when you were a kid? What adult is in England and Scotland going, oh, well, the kids from America are coming <laughs> yeah, to do a musical. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's go see that. Yeah, how loose is your schedule? Probably that's not. your entertainment. There's Probably no movie nothing, theater, no nothing. Nothing. I mean, they're in Scotland. You guys, I mean, it's it, it's a little ways away from where we were, but you guys got the Edinburgh Festival. Sure. Been going on for years. Go yeah. see those performances. But no, you're like, when's the children's theater? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's weird. When's that happening? When are they bringing the children? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then uh, and then and then on top of that, we stayed with a few families while we were over there. So just the I never know. got that. That's always so weird. Yeah. Even like exchange students. Yeah. So not. Me and my family, or me and an adult supervisor. Yeah, just me. Wait, was would there would they have kids that were in the thing in the theater troupe too? They, they 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 would always have kids that were about the same age, but they weren't in the theater troupe. So it'd be me and one other kid from the theater troupe, and we would go and we'd stay with the family. Which now that I look back on, that's it's a like fucking scene, that's a red dude. flag. Yeah, that's that, crazy. Nothing yeah. ever happened to me, but I don't know if something <laughs> did happen, I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> Maybe it's a repressed memory that you know we that I that I can trigger by looking at something. But yeah, for the most part, Yikes. it was okay. Huh. <laughs> can't go near fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Start screaming. I can't, man. Every year during the World Cup, I hear the screams. <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shoes off in the house growing up? No, shoes on in the house, which Whoa. is funny because now uh, my wife is Chinese and definitely shoes off. Shoes in off in the house. Shoes off in yeah, the house. Sho- yeah, shoes off in the house now. But uh, yeah, shoes on in the house. Were you allowed to eat in your room? Could you have snacks in your room? Uh, no. No, no eating in the room. No. And how were the no snacks in the at room. the house? Was there chips and pretzels? And- yeah, yeah, yeah. There was stuff like that. You know, if if, if it could be bought and it, and it was pre-made. It was there. Yeah. Popped yeah. sugar cereal, pop tarts, that kind oh, of stuff. Yeah. You were, it was okay. Yeah, sugar cereals, the golden grams. That was my favorite. Okay. Uh, yeah. that, 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 you, God, I still love golden. Grams. What about with dinner? What were you allowed to have? Water, milk, soda, uh, soda juice. Uh, mostly, mo- mostly milk and water. Okay. Nothing too crazy. That's pretty good. Yeah. Nothing. F- nice glass of milk to go with a bowl of chip beef <laughs> <laughs> on a hot nice. summer day with no air conditioning. People wonder why I have an iron stomach. <laughs> yeah. That's, how you that's get why. Gout. That's yeah. all she cooked. She did. What would she make for dinner? Give me a I typical mean, right. Mrs. Williams dinner. Typical dinner would be like a chicken breast, some steamed broccoli, which, okay, from okay. the south. So you want to know what we put on our broccoli? Syrup or I'm something like that? Mayonnaise. Whoa. What? <laughs> Like on top, what? On the side, and then you dip the broccoli in there. Steamed broccoli and mayonnaise? Steamed broccoli and mayonnaise. God damn. For, that's so that's crazy. crazy. Is it? You're from the South? No. <laughs> dude. Yeah, no. Is that just me? Were we just trash? <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I've never heard that. 
Never can someone <laughs> you, never had, you never had cow patty broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> One of your listeners, please write me and tell uh, me that oh, you had that. steamed broccoli and mayonnaise. <laughs> it's your sister. It's, yeah, uh, that that would probably be it. That would, hmm. that, would, that would be just about it. What well, was the preferred sorry, Kippy, what was the preferred fruit snack in the house? Uh literally fruit snacks. Like fruit? <laughs> No. no. Like, oh, fruit snacks. Like the no. Welch, isn't it Welch's fruit snack? Oh, like, uh, we those? wish we had Welch's. No, we were no, we were more gushers. Ooh. Yeah, we were a gusher oh, family. I don't think I ever met a kid that grew up with regular gushers. No. That's a treat every okay. once in a while. They yeah. weren't they 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 didn't do it for me. Oh, they, I love them. There was not enough of them. That's candy. That ain't that's a fruit what you snack. Did. That's candy. You that's didn't not like, like a, a nice shot of high fructose corn yeah. syrup to the back of yeah. your mouth. They that's were crazy. great. Yeah. Who doesn't love a gusher? Uh, what was the uh, first of all? Frozen <laughs> pizza growing up, or yeah. and or now? Oh no, that, uh, frozen. But then we also you would go to the old school pizza huts that are now kind of making a nostalgic comeback. So you were a Pizza yeah. Hut fam. Yeah, Pizza Hut Gentlemen. family. Gentlemen. All right. Yeah. Pizza Hut. What was the frozen okay. pizza, the preferred the frozen pizza at the house? Uh, Boboli? Boboli, yes. Whoa. That's the one you kind of made yourself a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Man, Bo- that's rich kid shit. Yeah. Boboli's a frozen p- Yeah, okay. Bo-bally. I don't think it was frozen. I think it was sealed... Uh, yep. It was like packaged. It wasn't frozen. Yes. Yeah. And it would be hanging on the end of the aisle, and it would come with this little sauce packet. And so your mom cooked a little bit. She could put the pizza <laughs> together. <laughs> they, they do both. They do both. No okay. kidding. And originally, I think in the 90s, was fucking just the Isn't that weird? I never thought goes. about that till just now, but like, what a question. What was your frozen pizza? Sure. Welcome very, to the show. Very everyone, important. Everyone had a brand. Yeah. I, I didn't realize. I'm like, oh, We've never gotten Boboli Never before. had Boboli. Really? Yeah. Start right. calling you sir. <laughs> 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 My stepdad would buy it maybe once a year when well, he was he's got feeling frolic. Like, I guess like the tax, the tax return came in or something. <laughs> he's got to impress you. Yeah. My stepdad. Really throwing down. Try, trying to get you to call him dad and not Mark. <laughs> 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 Whatever, Mark. Ooh, bubbling. <laughs> Thanks, hey, Father. <laughs> Thank Can you. I have another slice, Daddy? <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Mm-hmm. What was the first concert you went to? First concert I ever went to was, uh, all right, so... This is a, 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 a so I was in a band for a second. Name so, of that band? Oh, 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 here we go. The name of the, the name of the band I was in. And by the, the paint's way, coming off this house slowly. I was a hype man in the band, so <laughs> I didn't play an instrument. I didn't sing. I would do. I would run. I would run around the stage and scream random lyrics. Try to get the had, four people in the crowd I had going. No musical <laughs> talent, but the band thought, ah, I'm dwarf running around screaming random lyrics. That's sure. pretty funny. Worked at Hot Topic. You were yeah. in the industry. <laughs> yeah. Got them from Disney. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So uh, the name of our band was uh, Up Syndrome. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> not Down Syndrome. Sure. We're not assholes. Holy shit. Up Syndrome. Okay. Our big hit that we would close every <laughs> show with was the Safe Sex song. Uh, and then I would come out and do a little rap at some point. You know, at the you know the white guys from Orange County. That's a rap haven. Yeah. Uh, Where right. were you doing these shows? The Forum? Where would you guys uh, usually no. be? <laughs> there's a there's a There's a punk rock club on the corner of Harvard Boulevard in Lincoln. Called a chain reaction, and that's where all the punk even bands that came name from. stinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like all those bands, like uh, so it's like Newfound Glory, Simple Plan, Yellow Card, all came, all out, came of, out, like, out of there. Not like, or, like they all played through. there. All they passed they, through. Uh, all right. they all told us we stunk. Yeah, <laughs> was Gold, any Goldfinger like uh, it, it was so crazy because I I just saw Yellow Card literally like two nights ago, and then my band Up Syndrome did a show with them. In Pomona at a, vi- at a venue called the Glass House. So now it's like, wow, well, you guys did way better than <laughs> we did. <laughs> yeah, and, and they have a it's cool to see you guys are still together. Yeah, yeah. They, they have a fiddle player, and they, they 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 killed it. So yeah, that's my that that's like my feel good uh, Pandora Spotify station. You throw on like Newfound Glory, sure. all the. All the punk bands that sound like they were holding their nose, like all that pop yeah. punk That's from the. Right. Yeah. I love you. Uh, like sure. all those bands, I love those bands. They're but they great. were, they were. You guys were all coming up kind of at the same time yeah, when you were yeah, playing. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Just, and, then I, and then I was like, well, I have no musical talent, so uh, let me try comedy. <laughs> they <laughs> threw me out of the band. Thankfully, it worked. <laughs> I, th- I think I think you could find one of our music videos online. It was called. It was for a song called "The Jackson Five. I can were hear wrong. people googling that now. <laughs> the Jackson, yeah, Toby is. The Jackson Five were wrong. I think 
I think that's available. Online. But back to the question: What was yeah. the first concert? Ah, uh, first concert. So that so I went to a bunch of little punk shows like that. That's okay. why I told that story. I got okay. you. All right. So there was a bunch of little punk shows like that. I think like like uh uh the 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 Ataris was a good show. But then my first like big concert was uh Pennywise. Oh. And that okay. was at the Long Beach Arena, and I went to the mosh pit. I came out missing uh uh, uh my Nokia phone. Uh -huh. um, my sidekick. Came out missing a shoe and came out missing my car keys. And my dad had to come and drive Jesus to the arena Christ. and then bring the spare key so he could drive home. Oh, man. <laughs> that, so, yeah. The, Where are your shoes? <laughs> yeah, pen, one shoe. <laughs> so, the Pennywise mosh pit. That was a time. Bro him tribute. Ah, oh, that's a good That's, a good that's not bad. That's Posters on the wall would reflect the same musical taste, I would assume. Dude, I met. The, this guy that was on my wall my entire childhood it was so crazy so uh last week uh, uh I, I I went I went to a Laker game shout shout out to Jay Moore for shout uh, out to Jay Moore getting yeah. me the tickets and I'm sitting there and the guy that sits in the row in front of us the flopper himself, Vlade Divac. No, no kid, love no. Vlade. He, Shout I, out to the king. I had a poster of Vlade, and you could probably even look up the poster because the poster goes viral every now and then. Because in the poster, there's just a random arm coming out of Vlade, and you don't know no, whose arm it is. It is. No, like, I don't you think I know it. Yeah, you can't see the body. You can't see, and so it's just a random arm. And uh, yeah, I had a poster of Vlade on my wall, and uh, man, he uh, was like 44 playing in the league. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that day he was an old chain smoking on yeah. the bench. Yeah, he was old school. <laughs> he said he was 21. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I play. I play with Magic Johnson. I tell him. <laughs> Where you know, is he from? Uh, Serbia. Yeah, Serbia. Yeah, Serbia. Serbia. So, yeah, yeah, Yugoslavia. Yeah. Something with an Avia at the end. Man, I just. I just Think about that. Jay Moore must be getting hit up for tickets all the time. Yeah. So Jay Moore now married to the owner of the. Lakers. That's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. Bus. Shout out to Jay Moore, yeah, man. Shout out yes. To him. Yeah. So uh, uh, yeah, I ran into Genie Bus at a uh, uh, at a Total Wine uh, about a month ago, and uh, I was I, so I'm going there doing some shopping, and then she's there. She has a tequila, and she's doing like like an appearance. Mm -hmm. and I just I'm like ah, it's Genie hey. Bus. Yeah. And 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 she just looked at me. And she goes. You're friends with my husband. And I go, yes, I am. And he goes, and she looks at me and she goes, yeah, I follow you on Instagram. I go, I I, I, I figured whoever runs your account follows me. me. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that you, and she goes, that's pretty sweet. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, this guy's doing all right. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Fucking Genie Bus is saying, hey, I yeah. hear you. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, all nice right, lady. Huh. Let's uh, let's switch it up to now. Childhood's fucking bulletproof. Yeah, childhood's pretty good. There's a couple of uh, a couple, a couple of, of, Nick, of cracks sure. in the foundation, but who who don't have bit. that? Chip beef on toast. You call it <laughs> you call it ground beef or hamburger meat? Oh, ground beef. How do you feel about the rotisserie chicken? I'm a big fan of rotisserie chicken. All right, good all right. man. Do hmm. people not like rotisserie chicken? Who are these people? I don't know. Depends how big. I guess everybody's a fan. It's to how often are you having them? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or like weekly. Okay, so I'll I'll say this because because my mom wasn't a great cook. There was a uh, restaurant that, that we would go to like two, sometimes even three times in a week. No kidding. It was a sushi restaurant. So I was like raised on sushi. No. So uh, Jesus. I'm, I'm throwing a little I'm throwing a little garbage there. Uh, so yeah. That's what do you mean? But that's classy. It, it, it's it was trashy to go out to dinner that much. I get sure. what you're saying, but yeah, sushi. Yeah. I mean, and very and very nice. So like yeah. It, it it was it was good and it was a lot of fun and and now like now that sushi got trendy now it's like some people are ju are just learning about it ah uh, <laughs> amateurs yeah I was I having it, it I was having it in the crib exactly been doing sake shots since I was four <laughs> you know what sake bomb is Brad Ugh, so you, you can use chopsticks you, I assume fuck yeah <sighs> how early could fly. you use chopsticks mm -hmm. pretty early pretty early really? like yeah like. Before the age of ten, for sure. Whoa. Jesus! Yeah, I don't think I saw him before the <laughs> yeah, age of ten. Yeah. No. Well, now and now, because my wife is Chinese, I'm getting like now I'm getting my knowledge about Chinese food, which is really great, mm -hmm. and uh, like the good Chinese food. Sure. Like, you know, I don't think I've ever had it. No, but now now I'm learning about like there's I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, so I apologize. Uh, but my fa but my favorite thing is I believe it's called a uh, Xiaolin Bao, and that's a dumpling that's filled with hot soup. Oh. Soup dumpling. Yeah, Xiao Long Bao. Yeah, yeah, soup dumpling. Amazing. Yeah, you got to get that. If you don't know about those, Damn. gotta get. Yeah, I know soup, soup dumplings. dumplings. What am I, an asshole? You don't know <laughs> soup dumplings? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like this. Coming in, tell me I don't know soup dumplings. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. man, I've done 400 episodes. He just got personally offended by you going. He's like, 
<laughs> they got to know sewer. Don't drag me in here, fucking like a piece of shit. <laughs> I didn't know the proper terminology for it, but yeah. I know what soup dumpling. I call it a number three in my neighborhood. <laughs> Comes with fried rice. Okay. Yeah. All oh. right. Man, eclectic mm. gentleman over here. Very eclectic. Let's say you go out to oh. dinner now. Okay. Uh, will you? And it's someone's birthday. Will you tell the waiter it's their birthday so they sing happy birthday or no? Dude, I'll dude, I'll do that if, if it's not your birthday. Jesus. <laughs> I'm that guy. Okay. But to embarrass you, not to get a free dessert. Gotcha. Okay. Because I think there's an important distinction. Yes. If you're Some, doing it for the free cupcake, it's yeah, a tough look. You're an asshole. But if you're doing it because your friend hates when they come out and sing to him, now, now, now you're fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you go out to mind. dinner with the squad now, like you and, yeah. and and somebody else, will you guys split the check or will one of you pick it up? So, the deal is, is I think either I'm paying or you you just throw down credit cards and you say split it. You do not go itemized. Never. Of course. Never do yeah, that. You don't go down there and be like, well, you, your glass of wine was $2 more expensive than sure. my mixed bev. So, no. Throw down the cards like gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Split it up. Okay. Fine. Down the middle. And hey, what's the house looking like these days? You guys you guys are in a single family home? Uh, Yeah. Single family home out, out, uh, out in Southern California. We got... Uh, we got uh, f- five bedrooms. Nice Whoa. piece of property. One. Got a pool? No, don't don't have a pool. Had a pool growing up though. Okay. Uh, in ground? Good. Yeah, in, right. in ground. Well, 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 defense attorney. <laughs> fucking no West Coast attorney. dude. I'm not his... this. I'm not this Baltimore Ryan Sickler <laughs> sure, sure. above ground pool shit. <laughs> Shout, out <to> <laughs> Shout out the Rye guy. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have a diving board? Uh, yeah, had a diving board. Had a wasp nest under the diving board. <laughs> That's a, they come standard issue, <laughs> which we never got rid of. Money can't buy everything. No, because we got well, we got rid of it one time, and then it just came back. So we're like, well, it's part of the diving board. Yeah. So there was always like there the was always woo. yeah. So you always swam on the shallow end, and then every now and then you go to the deep end, but you'd warn them, hey, wasp. Nest, just so you know, like, oh man, yeah. So, right, you, with the tension. so you had to really be dedicated. If you're like, I'm gonna jump off the diving board, you're like, okay, had to be quick, yeah, had to do you it couldn't quick. do a practice jump, you can't to- stand up there and think about no, it. No, you gotta hit it and go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, you got the five bedroom, the shoes are off in the house. Yeah, if we came over to the house right now, yes, uh, and you offered us a glass of water, what would, would we be getting? Would we be getting tap? Would we be getting Filter, You'd, so Brita, you be getting from the fridge, <laughs> okay? From the <laughs> like, yeah. from, okay, okay. From filtered water. But we have water in the house. But I, I quit assume, bragging. <laughs> I we got water. Damn, you are rich. <laughs> no, like we have bottles, and we have. Uh, 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 I don't know if they're a sponsor, so I don't know if I'm, but Liquid Death, sure, are yeah, very, very kind to me. Sure, I really sure. like them. And uh, so we got a bunch of those cans. So I, I, I would probably say, hey, do you want it from the fridge or you, gotta, you, you get a glass of water? We can give you one of these cans, yeah, of sparkling yeah, or whatever. Yeah, okay, or a can of liquid death. You got a fridge in the uh, in the garage? Yes. And that's where the where you keep the waters and the sodas and stuff like that. So we got a fridge in the garage, uh, two fridges in the kitchen, the the food fridge and the drink fridge. Really? Yeah. Wait, two fridges in the kitchen? In the kitchen, yeah. Whoa. Wait, hold on. The fridge in the kitchen, is it you open it like that? That that's the and then in the island there there's like a little like a wine like a fridge. wine yeah, fridge. Like but a wine like for, fridge, but it's just for drinks. And then oh, and then an island. And then I and then I got a man cave where uh I got a drink fridge in there. What's in there? Are you a boozer? You on the hooch? Oh yeah. Oh. Love me some whiskey. Love okay. me some scotch. Okay. Didn't think I was a Scotch guy. Thought thought I hated Scotch. And then I met my wife. She's a Scotch woman. And tur- 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 turns out I was just drinking really shitty Scotch. Really? Because she introduced me to like good Scotch. Oh, good Scotch is good. Huh. Yeah, good Scotch. Not a not a big Scotch guy. Oh, you gotta have some good shit. <laughs> I'm a. I like a Dr Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> On the rocks. Glad. So that's See? three fridges. I'm counting. Yeah, no, that's uh, four. Four, 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 four fridges. My uh, That'd be a record. My wife got me this thing that's uh, like. Do you, ever, do you ever go? It, 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 you ever go to the website Touch of Modern? It's like this weird, weird, fancy shit. No. She she got me this. I don't know, where you, I don't know where you were going with that for a second. <laughs> yeah. Well, anytime you say you ever go to this website, <laughs> and it starts with touch. Uh, and you know, <laughs> lots of things can be happening. So uh, there's a coffee table in there, and the coffee table is a coffee table that's also a drink fridge. You got to be a member to get on this thing. That is also uh, a giant Bluetooth speaker. So that's in my man cave. So that's, that's pretty good. That, that's that, pretty trashy too, but I like it. I, oh, it's fun. What's on the walls in that cave? Oh, a lot of sports memorabilia. Uh, so a 
my two big pieces are a signed uh, Elway jersey, John Elway jersey. I'm a huge Broncos fan. And then I got a helmet uh, that's signed, a uh, bro uh, Broncos helmet that's signed by every Super Bowl MVP. So that's Von Miller, uh, Charles Davis, John Elway. Damn. Then I got a, a, a poster, a, a signed plaque from uh, Bobby Orr. That, one, that one's a good one, too. Love, yeah, love me good. some Bobby Orr. Love me some sports memorabilia. How are you, how are you acquiring these mm -hmm. things? Are they gifts? Are you searching them out? Both. Are you bidding on them? I'm not bidding. I'm just going like, so like, I'll, when I'm in Vegas, they have that like sports memorabilia stores that are in the walking malls. I'll just go in and every now and then I'll see some where I'm like, that. That's it. That's great. What's the most you ever paid for one? Two thousand. Two G's. That's yeah. not crazy. That's not crazy. Right? That and that was, you know what? Uh, that was when I shot my Netflix special. That was special. Randall Cunningham's <laughs> mouth. <Yeah. laughs> I wore in this special. Yeah. This is this is how cool my wife is. Uh, when I got my Netflix special, we were shooting it in Vegas. It's uh, called The Degenerates. Mm -hmm. it's a bunch of comics are on it, so you can go watch it if you want. Uh, we were shooting it in Vegas. And we're walking around the mall like the day before the taping, and we saw this sporting goods store, and then it, it was the helmet that's signed by the three uh, Super Bowl MVPs, and it's two thousand bucks. And my wife is like, "Get it? You got a freaking Netflix special? Sure, there you go. get the helmet." So I was like, "Fuck yeah, lady! Yeah, I like you. Throw a little cash down. Yeah, so uh, that was fun. That's good. Speaking of, uh, through any point in your career, like mm -hmm. maybe first big paycheck or first whatever, has there any been any really stupid purchase?" But no, you never ski. like look back and was like, I shouldn't have fucking done that. That was I didn't need. Are you no. good with money or you're reckless? I'm, I'm pretty good with money. I, I I'm kind of like my dad, where it's like you have it, but you don't spend a lot of it. You just kind of. You have air conditioning in your I house? I got opposite. air conditioning. Right, you got the AC. <laughs> Fuck okay. yeah, I got air conditioning. <laughs> what kind of watch you got there? That's Let's a nice timepiece. This is a. I love watches. Right, he takes it off. This that's is, that's uh, a gentleman's gentleman. move right there. Bolova. Bolova. Yeah. That's, Bolova. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Yeah, Bolova. But you're you're also talk, you're also talking to the guy that thought for until like the age of thirty, I thought prosciutto was pronounced pro, pro mosquito. Whoa! So, so I'm, I'll do the pro mosquito and cheese, please. My cousin was real pro mosquito in yeah. high school. <laughs> pro mosquito. <laughs> Nothing on Dude, that. I was at a damn. I was at a damn promiscuous. Deli. I was at a damn deli with a friend, and I and I ordered. the Pro mosquito sandwich. And There's he, not even an M in it. And he just it? looks at me and starts laughing his that's ass That's rough. Off. And he goes, that's a good bit. I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just thought you, thought you were riffing. <laughs> huh. Okay. So, yeah. Just, ju ju just assume I pronounce everything incorrectly. Huh. Have well, you ever been really into Harry Potter? No. No, no, no. Okay. Never Harry Potter. Collect anything growing up? Anything like uh, Beanie Babies or anything like that? No, just like baseball cards and stuff like that. Okay. And I was all, I, I've always dug sports memorabilia. Uh, uh, no, I didn't really collect any of those trends. Uh, You're a wrestling guy, right? Yeah. Have you ever taken a sign to a wrestling event? No. I've not taken a sign to a wrestling event. In I my, did. Yeah, you did. I forget what it said. What I was in fifth uh, grade. It was uh, uh, what was the WCW Monday Night Show? Uh, Nitro. It was yeah. Nitro. I went to Nitro. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, I didn't. But the one the favorite one I ever saw was who, who was who was your wrestlers in Nitro? Give me a give, give me. I like think this one this favorites. this was probably the NWO years. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. It was that you know the, those guys? Um, Nash Hall Hogan. Okay. Yes, yes, for sure. Bad Hogan. Bad Hogan. Hogan. Yeah, heel Hogan. Heel Hogan. Blackbeard Hogan. Yeah. By the way, did you see the story that came out today that Hogan, like, helped someone on the side of the road in Florida? Some lady flipped her car. And, like, no. and, like Hogan maybe, like, helped get her out. And he's wearing an he elbow drop the or leg <laughs> drop the car. He's wearing an NWO shirt as he does it. That's awesome. Could you imagine? <laughs> That's a PR stunt. What state <laughs> of mind you're in. Where's the camera, brother? I got you, brother. <laughs> It'd be cool if Hogan did that and he had regular clothes on, but before he jumped into action, he ripped everything off. He doesn't uh, come out to his music cue. <laughs> da, 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 da. He's yeah. coming out there. Oh yeah. No, there was a great one. It was it was a it was WWF uh, Monday Night Raw, yeah. and the cameraman wanted to show the sign, but knew he probably mm. couldn't, so he showed like this sign, and this was in the, and it just said Vince is a queef. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, we were in fifth grade. We all went to school the next morning. Did you see the fucking queef? Dude, the good. signs there. There, there's some good ones back in the day. There, 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 there's good ones now. There's, 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 there's funny people out there. Oh, it's a, the internet's the funniest place in the world. I like it.
Are yeah. you a cologne guy? He uh, is. I smelled it in the bathroom. Really? Nah. Aqua de Aqua de Gio or something? Uh, Polo Black. Polo, Polo Black. Black. Polo Black is my cologne. I knew I, I it's knew it. It's been my cologne since high school. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's just well, it's some. You Where know, are you spritzing? You give me the method. I do a uh, spritz, spritz. Just a. Uh, That's it. Uh, Two yeah. neck. Nothing on the wrist. Sometimes Is I'll see a French whore. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I'll I do the wrist. Sometimes I'll do spritz spritz, and then this is trashy. I'll I'll, I'll take my wrist and I'll just wipe the neck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone else does saving that. money. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are like your father. Yeah, exactly. Huh. Classy but trashy. That's okay. Me. Mm-hmm. Tra- right. uh, da, da, da. How you TSA pre check? Fuck yeah! I travel every week. Dude. Yeah, you clear too? Not clear as well. Clear I, stinks. I I, I, pr- I don't know. See now I put pre check. I was just at a, I was just at LAX and literally the the pre check line was longer yeah, no, it's crazy. than the yeah. check in line. I'm like, damn it, starting to even out a little bit. Yeah, and I don't like it because. Uh, oh, but then I got I got to stay in the pre check line because I don't want to take my shoes off sure. and everything. So yeah, so I stayed I stayed in the pre check. You flying up front? Uh, when I get upgraded. Okay. I don't buy first class tickets, but thankfully I get upgraded a, a lot. Bunch, yeah. I fly a lot. So who are you flying? American. American. American fly man. American through you, Dallas. You, you and Foley have very different flying experiences. Yeah. That's very true, though, because I don't, like, when I don't, don't get upgraded, yeah, I don't sure. mind it. Yeah, it's, it's like normal. Coach, yeah. coach seat, I'm fine. Chilling. I throw a fit in the airport. Yeah. I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> a goddamn yeah. veteran, for Christ's sake. He yeah. starts yelling bomb in the terminal <laughs> real quick. Clear him out. Now, all right, now, I, I, I don't know if this is a garbage thing. Uh, I did this one time. Uh, they said uh, they did that thing where it's like anyone with the any, anyone requiring a little assistance to get on the plane. I've been debating starting or doing that. a little extra time. And this dude stood up. Fine. Yeah, I've seen He's that where you, but you fine. can't ask. What the fuck's wrong with they you? They can't say anything. They need a bouncer. The airline can't ask. Yeah, I've asked. What'd you say? One time, <laughs> I was like. I, I just looked at the guy, and I was like, come on, man. They said disabilities, and this is real. <laughs> this, brutal. Th- th- this is now in my act because it's a, tr- it's a true story. The guy kind of looks at me insulted, and he shows me his hand. His hand is missing half of a finger. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Well, thank, <laughs> He's a goddamn hero. In thank my you for your service, yeah, yeah, yeah. asshole. <laughs> Damn. Half of a finger. I've been starting to thinking about doing that a little bit. You yeah. just want to get your burger quicker. I was going to get in there. Yeah, get situated and settled. <laughs> get they a couple, can't, they get can't a couple say drinks shit. Me. <laughs> yeah, they can't. They, they're, they're, they're not allowed to say Not anything. allowed to ask. Yeah. So, yeah, when they say disabled boarding, uh, and, and, yeah, some people get up, and I'm, because I don't board with disabled because I'm I have pride. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Cuz I don't, I don't like to view myself as disabled unless I'm parking. Uh <laughs> no, I respect that. Yeah, I got the handicap parking platter. Uh, you do. Sure. Yeah, I'll use the fuck out of that. <laughs> I'll use the fuck out of the parking platter. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, kids working the system. Oh my god, are you kidding He's me? using to get into the nightclubs. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, uh, well that and like I said, the parking situation in LA is very similar to New York, which is yeah. like it's crazy. So, oh, with, with the handicap parking placard, here's things that pe- that people don't know. You can park at a meter, don't have to pay. No shit. No shit. Lucky yeah. you. You park at a one hour parking, take as much time as you want. No kidding. Handicap parking. Oh, that's the way of the future. <laughs> got the angles. <laughs> Will you bring food on the plane? <laughs> uh, literally only one time have I ever done that. Okay. okay. I, I don't bring food on the plane. I, I don't know why. I just I should. But I don't. Do you eat the meal if they get if they serve a meal? Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoes off on the plane? Uh, yes. Seat back? No. Okay. Never. And th- okay. this, I was so mad on the flight out here because a lady threw the seat back. Now, if, if you throw your seat back in coach and you're sleeping, all right. Or if you're larger, you need some room, all right. I don't put it back. Maybe a little. But, like, this woman threw her seat back but then didn't go to sleep and was just watching a movie yeah, the whole time. Yeah, you can't do that. Fuck off. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I, I agree with to, that. I wanted to say I've always said so the throwback is the uh, egregiousness of it. Yes. You should do, like, a, a little. Yeah. Because it was give a look violent. Back. Give a look back. Yeah. The, yeah. Like it you're was, not even there. Yeah. And, like, I had a bottle like that that was up that, that like, got, like, whipped flying when mm-hmm. she threw the seat back because it was just like, whoa, like, and, th- and threw it back. 
you're a classless individual. If that, All if, right. If, if that's what you're doing, I will judge. If somebody has a booger or bad breath, will you give them a heads up? Absolutely. Anybody? Not, not anybody. Friends. Okay. Well, so what if uh, when we first met you at uh, Moon Tower? Yeah. Didn't know each other. Yeah. But you saw that I was standing there and I had a boogie. Would you say, hey, man, just to. Oh, comics. Yeah. Yeah. You give me a heads up? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, there's, comics, there's, there's a mutual respect. Of course. There, gentlemen. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. You have a booger. Nice to yeah. meet you. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'll do that a thousand percent. Brad, how you doing? I'm Henry. Great to meet you, man. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite flavor of Gatorade? Uh, lemon lime. Okay. okay. Set the color. Lime. Old crazy. school. I'm ba I'm basic. What's the credit score like? Really good. Has it always been good? Always been. Have good. you always been a saver? Yeah. Always it, been good. My dad always told me he goes, if you use the credit card, you know, you you. Unless you have to, you pet you pet you pay, pay it off. Pay it off. Pay it off. Don't ever be like, oh, throwing forty bucks this month. But like, if you have to, you know, you have to. Yeah, if you're trying to, if yeah, you're, if you're keeping the plate spin a little bit for sure. Yeah, yeah to totally get that. But if but if you got the means, always, always just pay it off. So yeah, I got a good credit score. And what cards are you throwing around these days? You got an Amex? Uh, no, I got a I, I got a business card for my LLC. Mm -hmm. Sure, which is nice. Who's that? Uh, that's just. Bank of America Mastercard. Okay, uh, but then I got a uh, just a Chase. I, I I don't really do fancy credit cards. No American Express. No. Ooh, don't do that. Okay, not bad. Hmm. You own an air fryer? My wife does. Yeah, I mean, so I guess I do. Yeah, <laughs> she, I don't know what she does over there. You really trying to distance yourself on that? Yeah, she uses it. <laughs> I, I, I'm like my mom. I can't cook worth shit. Okay. I found a, a great woman that can cook like hell, and it's awesome. Baking soda in the fridge? Yeah. Freezer too? <laughs> no. Okay. Are you currently in any, any beef with a neighbor? Yes. Really? Ooh, lay it on uh, me, Brad. We, yeah, just, the we just moved into this house. So, you know, things have been going good the past mm -hmm. few years. So mm -hmm. moved into a nice house. Really happy about it. Uh, uh, within the first week, our neighbor, who uh, we were told by a friend is a, is, is a heart surgeon. So we're like, oh, we got a heart surgeon next to us. Oh, hell yeah, that's great. And then we get there. We're doing a little bit of work on the house. The, our neighbor called the cops on us Jesus. because there's an ordinance in our city where you can't have outside work being done after 3 o'clock or something. It's some obscure law. In the no afternoon? One, yeah, no one knows about it. 3 no o'clock? Yeah, so it's 4 o'clock. Our work, uh, we, I got, we got some workers still out there. And Off rip. Dude calls the cops. Fuck that. And the cops even walk up and they're like, uh, I mean, we have to tell you to. You can't do this. Cut it this, out, yeah. but holy shit. Like, the cops are even like, dude, this is fun. You <laughs> just <laughs> moved in. Yeah. Have you met, had you met the guy? No. That's, that's how, a, that's the guy introduction? comes over that's, and knocks or a call yeah, or a text. That guy's hey, going to be a problem. Just yeah. a heads up. Literally, literally on the way over here. We haven't had too much issue with him, Fuck that. but on the way over here, I got a friend of mine. Uh, he's a fellow comedian, uh, Dave Williamson. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dave, meet sure. Dave. Love Dave. Dave. Great guy. Yep. The so, best. So I'm in his neighborhood, and uh, he knows my neighbor. And he knows he, the guy. Yeah, he knows the guy. So over he, there, I'm barbecuing him or he something. He literally, he literally just texted me on the way over here. He's like. Hey, your neighbor just asked for your cell phone number. Before I give it, I figure I would ask you. I go, absolutely not. Do not give this man my cell phone number. If he's got a problem, fucking knock on the door and uh, talk to me like a you, gentleman. Listen, I kind of respect that. You yeah. move into the neighborhood. You're yeah. there. You're, you're there. Whatever. Mm -hmm. You haven't met the guy yet. I could. See, I mean, you're still a dick, but I could see coming over, knocking on the door. Hey, just so you know. There's an ordinance that you can't do it after three. And you could even spin My it. My wife's like, taking a nap. I would spin it as something. like, hey man, I don't really something. care about the people around here. Yeah. Like, I don't even if you, you can, care, you can it's do not that. me. He but calls the fucking cops, cops on you. Cops, some narcish shit. Jesus, yeah. like like they got nothing else to do. Cops, and then goes crawling for your number. What? How long ago was this when the cops called? This was three months ago. So he's got something else. He's got he's something looking else. for your number. Now he's now he's now now he's gonna text me. Now, <laughs> my wife. Now my my wife kind of likes little trinkets on the front yard. I I think it's funny, but now that she knows that the and this guy's yard is immaculate, just this immaculate mm -hmm. yard. I think I I I think my wife is putting extra shit on our front yard now just because 
piss him off. Yeah. What do you think he's want, wants your number for? Uh, say sorry, or you think it's something no. else? No way. Saying sorry after three nobody months. wants to Dude, say sorry after three crazy. months if their first no. move is the cops. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah. nuts. So he so he's definitely got something else. Okay. Probably probably the probably the flamingos on the front yard. <laughs> the flamingos. <laughs> yeah, my wife loves those little plastic flamingos. Oh man, she loves them. She thinks they're funny. Now I'm on the hurt shirts inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I don't have much left. I, he's pretty. He's bulletproof. He's pretty bulletproof, really? man. Couple, okay. couple of cracks, but you know. What do you give at a wedding? Let's say, uh, I don't know, a cousin's getting married, a niece, a nephew. Uh, now, let's now? say, let's say you had a. Okay. Yeah, because like, which stage of my life? Sure, I, sure. Yeah, now. Because you're going to a wedding next. Because there month. was times, and it's like, all right, well, I'm going to go to the Sizzler and grab the napkins and <laughs> sure. give those. I'll do ten minutes up front. <laughs> <laughs> I said my, I would do crowd work. My, my gift to you. Uh, <laughs> No, but now, yeah, you go for like between 100 and 150 dollars, somewhere okay. like that. All gift. right, yeah, I think so. That and it's like I was expecting a little more. Yeah. <laughs> what? You're living next to a goddamn do you ever heart have, surgeon. Yeah. Do you, do you ever have that? I'm give thing? you a strike for that. Yeah. Do you ever have that thing where you go out and uh, and then the the waiter or the cashier recognizes you and you're like. Ooh, I got a tip big now. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's only happened a couple of times, yeah. But we're, now we're you're pretty good. done with that anyway. Uh, we, did I tell we like you. to go heavy. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. your dad was like, bully, you know, pay off the credit card. It's like, I've never done that. I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm an absolute standard 20% bare minimum tipper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolute standard. But then uh, if, 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 if you're aware and you're like, Oh, I love your comedy, Brad Williams, whatever. I'm like, all right. 21%. <laughs> it's 21 and a half, and I ain't going over. I'm going to have to do some extra cameos this week. Oh Find me on Cameo. Yeah, he's a little tight with the cash. Yeah, yeah a little tight with, tight, the tight with the cash. He's got to save up for all those fucking football helmets. I didn't see that. I, hey, I got a daughter. she got to go to college. Sure. Although, although she's uh, Asian and a dwarf, so we're going to get a scholarship. <laughs> let's be honest. Ever been bitten by a dog? Yes. Okay. A few times. Uh, <laughs> Dalmatian. Oh, they're <laughs> nasty, though, yeah. right? Dalmatians are nasty. Dalmatian. And, and, and uh, yeah. So, and uh, I, I, I don't think it was my fault. It was me just petting the dog, and everything's good. And then, you know, mm -hmm. dog goes. And, uh, yeah, when a, a, a Dalmatian bites a dwarf. That's not even a fair <laughs> fight. Like, I can't even stand up for myself. Sure. But now, now, I got it. Oh, it's the best. I got this. 80 pound pit bull now and, yeah and i walk that dog around the neighborhood and everyone's like holy shit there's God a midget damn. walking out pit bull yeah holy <laughs> like, shit like, it's awesome people cross the street oh <laughs> it's, it's right. fucking great <laughs> everyone yeah everyone. i don't know if i trust that either yeah. as you're walking by you owe it to yourself everyone own a pit bull yeah. it's, it's fucking great i got a pit bull mix yeah yeah you own binoculars do not. Okay. Do not own binoculars. You like pistachios. Although I, I was shout out to the fans. Uh, there, were, I, I was, I was doing a show a, a couple weeks ago, and they sat in the front row. And then as a joke, they pulled out binoculars because <laughs> I'm fun. so small. Yeah, I'm that's like, a good bit. I'm like, good, good bit. I, I like that. Good. Two pairs too. <laughs> oh, I was good. Sorry. Synchronized. Anyway, what was that? What pistachios. Was that? Yeah. I Red it. ones. I don't think they're banging anymore. No, that was okay. a '90s thing. Didn't even know what they I were. I didn't even what red pistachio. They're, they're green. They're for hillbillies. Man, they you dye did, them red. You did come from money. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I only knew green pistachios. Uh, in the past thirty days, have you been in a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls? No, but I haven't been. Okay. I, as I, clothes shopping for a dwarf isn't fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's just a lot of nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you eat in the car? <laughs> Fuck yeah. What kind of car are you driving around in? Lexus. Coma. Oh, Lexus. Oh, Lexus. Now I do. Red? No. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Did you, buy, uh, did you buy it new or is yeah. it leased? Oh, it, it it's leased, but only, yeah. I'm, I, had, I had a blue Lexus before that just, I drove it over 100,000 miles, mm -hmm. finally, finally got to the end of it. I don't like to lease cars. I like to own my car, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, but I leased this one because I'm getting ready to adjust the house so for an electric car. So I'm just going to okay. lease the hybrid Until, for a little gotcha. bit. All right. Yep. You're doing some work at the house. You're getting an electric. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah. yeah, man. I got uh, what mayonnaise are you using at the house? Are you using Hellman's? Best, best Foods. Best. Best Foods. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hellman's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's yeah. fucking bullet. I, that, you know. He's bulletproof. Stunned. Yeah. Brad really? Williams, 100% class, class, everybody. Really? You yeah. believe that, T-Bone? What? 
Truly shocked. Shocked. Truly shocked. I'm shocked. I thought. Well, I mean, the broccoli and the mayo. But that's a little that's, thing. You know, that's a fa- that's culture. And you just happen to get to, you know, I, I'm I'm very um, sympathetic to the chippy fun toast. It's literally <laughs> one of my favorite foods. Shout out to Gem Restaurant. Dude, I was at I was at a restaurant that had it. Oh, Philly! It's, I, it's yeah. on every breakfast. Menu. Every breakfast. I menu. will every order diner. It. Yeah. If, if it's there, I will I will order it. I don't like cla- so good. I don't like classy corned beef hash. Get, no, me either. Get your classy corned beef hash yeah. the fuck out of here. Little tiny cubed mm-hmm. potatoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Burnt. Yeah, get it. Burnt. Nice. Yeah. Meat that you're not quite sure what or where it's from or whatever. Give give me the trashy corned beef hash any day of the week. Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some people do like fancy like shredded corned beef or like pulled corned it's beef. Ne- it never it never comes together well. No, no. It's weird. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Chippy fontos. I'm shocked. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, that's it. Listening to this podcast. I was I was going. Oh man, I'm gonna be garbage for sure. No, you can't. I you mean, grew maybe, up golfing. What are you talking about? I know, but even outside of that, maybe like you know, we we have a pretty good gauge of moving the questions as we as you start answering them to yeah. try to get you. But I mean, mm-hmm. you were fucking. Well, you're able to bob when we weaved. Hey man, and like I said, I had no idea about the pizza. Now, now, now I feel like <laughs> this bobbly. is a, yeah, bobbly. I mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, now I feel like this is a new personality I, trait <laughs> question. I like, asked, what was your frozen be- pizza, and you gave me fucking not frozen pizza. <laughs> yeah. like, I feel like this has to be on every personality yeah, yeah, questionnaire, yeah. <laughs> the Wonderling <laughs> test. Put it on your dating profile. To what get into NASA, they what, ask you that. Yeah, what was your frozen pizza? If you say if you get bobbly, they do a credit. Check at the at sure, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Can only pay by check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they know clear. But I'm honored. Thank you, buddy. I, Thank I, you I'm so much. much fun. I'm honored to know that I am not garbage. You're classy, yeah, classy gentleman. I'm, I'm one, gonna... one of a very few, my friend. Yeah, it, you're in an elite class. Yeah. Who else is on this list? Do you, do you know? Off Chaz Palminteri. Chaz Palminteri. Oh, pretty okay. good. Mr. Segura. Segura is classy. I'll take. St- I'll. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll Jared do Free. Jared Francis Free. Ellis. Oh, uh, Whitney Wh- Cummings. When you said Whitney, uh, when Whitney, Whitney might have been trash. Well, she came from Virginia, I know. Yeah. So uh, uh, I might think be she might have been. Tra- I forget off the top I can't of my remember. head. Remember? Yeah, but uh, when 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 you said Jared, I'm like, do not say from Subway. Do not. <laughs> do not say that, Jared. I don't want to be in any category with that fucker. How old do you think the podcast is? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we would have had him free, free, or free. <laughs> Prosecution. I mean, old enough to date Jared. (laughs) (laughs) Gang, he's on tour right now, and the brand new special Uh Starfish is available to stream over there at Veep. Do yourself a favor, check him out. He's one of the funniest, one of the best. Brad, anything else you want the folks out there to know? Website, social, yeah, just uh, BradWilliamsComedy.com has all the tour dates. So go, so go there. Over seventy. Uh, cities uh, coming Damn. up in, in this next year. Kids moving. Tickets. We're doing a lot, man. So, uh, and we haven't even announced the uh, overseas tour yet, which yeah. will happen soon. So, if you're watching this in Australia or in the UK, get ready. I'm gonna be coming out there in 2024. And Brad Williams comic on Instagram. That's my most active social media. Awesome. So, yeah, we love it. Such there. a fun time. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, tickets for uh, Town Hall New York City are available mm-hmm. on areyougarbage.com. Get those tickets. Town Hall New now. York City. Town Hall mm-hmm. New York City. I'm playing City. there in July. Yeah, let's Look at that. Oh, love leave it. leave yeah. a message for me on the oh, wall. Yeah, right on the wall. <laughs> real low. Real low. <laughs> I got to be able to read it. Okay, Town Hall. And grab the Are You Garbage card game over at areyougarbage.com. It's our second edition of mm-hmm. uh, 50 Questions to find out if your family and your friends are trash. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.